Sam, West Michigan is still recovering from that Halloween snow. Over a day later, crews still working to get all the power back on in Muskegon. 13 on your side's Julie Coherick joins us live in the newsroom with the latest on the cleanup efforts. Julie, what do we know? Yeah, good morning, guys. It's still affecting more people than crews had anticipated. Consumers wanted to get everyone back online by last night, but thousands of people are still without power. Let's take a look at that outage map. Statewide, nearly 6,000 people are still without power. That's better than yesterday. It's 40,000. But as you can see, parts of Muskegon are still in the red. It's also affecting schools. Muskegon Public Schools are closed today because of that power outage. North Muskegon schools already closed for both today and tomorrow. And we're learning more about how dangerous this time of year can be. Freeport Township man is dead and his wife is in critical condition after an incident with their generator. They set it up in the garage where they didn't realize it was releasing carbon monoxide. Police said their initial investigation did not uncover any evidence of foul play, but they are reminding people that a garage is not a safe place for a generator. And a Muskegon woman is doing okay after a snow-covered tree branch fell on her. Take a look at this video of it just as she was trying to dust her car off of the snow. There it goes right there. When we spoke to her about the scary moment it happened. It was like you know, 10 seconds after I got out and I just could hear the branches breaking. And I was like, I already like had it in my mind. I was like, if, if a branch falls, like I'm just gonna dunk and like put my arms over my head. She also says her car is drivable and she just escaped with a crack in the windshield. She told us she feels lucky, but a couple others weren't as lucky Tuesday. Muskegon County Dispatch told us at least two people had to go to the hospital after similar tree falling incidents. For now, live in the newsroom, Julie Coherick, 13 on your side.